Good morning, my fellow viewers, my fellow audience, and subscribers throughout the world. Uh, YouTube is an open platform. Anybody can watch the video if they know how to do the search with the keywords and tags. Okay. Uh, as always, I'm grateful to God, grateful to Divine Spirit, grateful to Cosmos, the Universe, the Galaxies, and Planet Earth. Holy Mother Earth and the third planet which I live on just like you guys do so um, I, today is, is an off day President's Day so taking off focusing on my passion uh, recap recap let's do recap what skill sets are important in non-technical technical world now in non-technical world everybody knows Either you're a dentist, either you're a butcher, a hairdresser, uh, anywhere you go, there's an electronic device, right? Uh, you're going to either charge money to people, you're going to use an electronic device, that's a tool, right? If you are on hospitals, hospitals, there are tools everywhere, all kinds of machines and devices, they're all tools, diagnostic tools within the computer within uh, EKG, MRI, X-ray machine, you just name it, right? Digital microscopes, all kinds of equipment in the hospital, those are all tools, right? Even it may be non-technical, but tools are there, software is there, database there, utilities are there, all right? Any industry in today's world has a tool. Right tools for right jobs. This is your host, Dor Ali. All right, there is no argument, there is no fight going on, that I'm not wrong or right, I'm right, right? Facts speak for themselves, right? Take a car, car is a computer, right? We're getting electrical car, even the old car with carburetors and all that, that computer box, computer box in them. But nowadays car, as we go by, they're more and more advanced. You need a special machine to hook the car up to run the diagnostic. Those are all tools, right? Those are all tools. Today's automotive technicians are pretty tech savvy. And you can take a boat or, or a, a submarine or any kind of yacht, expensive yacht. They got computers in them everywhere, right? Even the AC guys, uh, the AC have, have tech people, they use tools, all kinds of tools. When you call them for service, they got tools with them, right? So they can get the job done and their ticket done in no time. Plumbers have tools. Gardeners have all kinds of machines out there, right? Uh, electric uh, cable with electrical power or battery on. They're all tools. Tools, 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 tools. I see tools everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, even the electrical pole man from ERCOT. Uh, it's, if you live in Texas somewhere, you know, uh, the grid is owned by ERCOT. And uh, they have tools, right? Uh, anybody who is in technical field, you're going to have hand tools, you're going to have smart tools, you're going to have laptop, operating system, diagnostic systems, a service manual, uh Owner's manual, configuration setup menu, all kinds of stuff. They're all tools. Tools, 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 tools. Cheat sheets. Cheat sheets are part of the tools. Okay. Charts and graphs, uh, shortcuts. They're all tools. Over the years, I just call them tools. Reference materials are tools. Uh, even, even automotive industry, right? When you go to like, uh what is it napa napa auto zone and other uh you know national companies in usa and other they they use a book right when you say hey i got a so-and-so model here car i'm looking for this part he's gonna go on his computer then he's gonna go first he's gonna look at this big book desk reference sheet they have the, the, all the cars are listed, year, color, 
model, engine type, and parts type. They look in there, they look at, they test it, they verify, then they look in their computer, in their database, if they have the part or not, right? Those are all tools, right? Tools. They sell parts, they use computer, that's a tool. There's a software that tells them the parts located in what bin, and they dispatch, they're all tools. Tools are everywhere, man. Tools are everywhere, right? We live in the world of technology. Okay, even uh, farmers use big machines. There are tools too, right? Uh, you can't escape away from tools. You can't. You just can't do it. Anyway, anyhow, we're going to go on another part. I have covered uh, Lavono. I have covered IBM. I have covered Dell. I'm going to cover HPE or HP Euler Packard. Okay. So let's be, let's go there. So this is called HP Self Maintainer Program. Now remember, in order to become an HP Certified Technician, uh, Platform Specialist, Infrastructure, Work on Servers, ProLine Servers, Blade Servers, Chassis, Silos, Tape Backup Units, you can just name it. Okay. Uh, been there and done that. That's why I'm sharing this with you today. Uh, great way. Let's do a recap. What are the most important two skill sets? Two skills are divided into self, soft skill, and hard skill. Okay. So in today's world, not only hard skills, hands-on skills are important, but you got to have soft skill sets. What are the soft skill sets? Communication. What am I doing? Communication. Presentation. What am I doing? Presentation. How to read documentation. How to look for documentation. How to bring the documentation and share with people. Sharing. Growing. Okay. Telling a story. Uh, being passionate and having compassion. Empathy. Uh, art, artistic. Creative. Okay, thinking outside the box, right? Thinking outside the box and keep it simple. Keep it simple. You know, there is no music in my presentation. There is no loud drums, guitars. No, I don't need that. I don't need bells and whistles, right? If I want to spread the message, I want this to resonate with people across the world every corner of the world okay it is not overnight success does not come overnight you have to take the first step so what if you fail a certification once try it again i've been there and done that right been there done that many many times over in my last 30 years all right i'm not gonna live forever all right uh, that's why i'm sharing this information sharing this wealth of knowledge so anybody out there, young chap, young girl in their 20s or even going to high school, they, they listen to this or they talk to your friends, <laughs> go for it, man. Go for it, right? Man, woman, girls, ladies, guys, go for it, right? Do it. Just, just do it. Just do it. That's all I can say. Have hope. Work hard, no input versus output. All right, so A, in order to do this, I have to have a couple of things. My laptop is a tool. My selfie stick is a tool. My cell phone is a tool. My cable that connects to the phone to the laptop is a tool, right? So I'm using hands-on, okay? And then how to search for the document, what to look for, what to bring in, what to share. What document shares value? What is important for somebody to learn something, right? Based on my experience, I can do it the fast way, right? I can bring the right knowledge, put it on my channel so anybody can look for it, right? That's the beauty about it. That's the beauty about experience. That's the beauty about life. Life will teach you its own lessons. That's how you get wisdom. That's how you get experience, right? No nonsense, no BS. Right to the point. Buckets and bolts. 
nuts and bolts. <laughs> I don't know why I call it bucket and bolts. Well, you can have bolts in a bucket, so that's why buckets and bolts. But nuts and bolts, meat and gravy. That's my motto, right? So let me share this information with you. So this is HP products. Here. HP products are what? Laptops, uh, digital uh, multifunctional unit, plotter, digital senders, and standalone servers and displays. And this is a cash register right there, right? Uh, zebra kind of printer, used to fix those in my ancient history. Symbol and display, been there, done that. Let's move on. All right, so like I said before, in order to become a tier one parts only, you have to have customer and you have to have finance. The tier one, right, tier one. It says it on the document, all right? Uh, tier two, right there. And then commercial business, right there. So they, they have to be big. Too much. All right, let me see where I was. I was right here. All right, I'm gonna keep on this screen so you can read it. Uh, anybody can go to HP side if you want to get educated. And let's say HP self made does not cover what? Accidental damage protection, refurbish, end user damage, most plastic parts and lost parts. They will not cover that, period. Right, so you have to have your technician trained uh, or engineer, and then you have uh, self maintainer program highlights, everything is written for you right there. HP training accreditation, they call it HP knowledge and technical resource and tools, warranty parts, pre shipping, diagnostic requirements, 35% discount on non warranty parts, and labor limited. Oh. Uh, Takes me back. It takes me back. Uh, HP self maintained website. So we have a partner portal. We have learning center and channel services. Okay. If you work for a partner, your ID will be in the partner portal. If they give you a separate ID for the learning center, it's going to be in the learning center. And of course, you're part of a channel, then you'll be working with the channel services. Uh, depending on who you work for, who you report to. Okay. So this is how you get started. HP Inc. Self-maintained program getting started. And there we go from here. Then three step is enrollment process, application, acceptance, and then welcome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then you got these 800 numbers right there. Feel free to call them, depending what you do, where you get, who you work for. It's free. I'm just bringing it into the forefront. Okay. This is a 12-page document. Uh, this is our important numbers right there, important websites. So, I have covered, by the grace of God, uh, IBM, Lavono, Dell, and HP. I'd say by the grace of God, right? I'm going to keep it short. Recap. What are the most important skill sets? Nowadays. Uh, creativity. Uh, critical thinking. Tech savvy. Communications. Documentation. Sharing. Teaching. Learning. And growing. Those are skill sets. Right? It's the foundation of my YouTube channel. Right? How to tell a story, how to present, how to communicate. Right? You need to learn to communicate where non technical and technical people both can learn from your content. Okay? But don't make it too techy. Don't make it too non techy. Stick in the middle ground. If you stick into the middle ground, play it fair in the playground, then everybody can understand your content, understand your pitch, okay? Then you got to have a buy-in, right? 
somebody has to like my content and somebody has to enjoy the content so you know what this guy is to the point this guy knows what he's talking about i like this guy right as simple as that now uh like i said i ain't gonna live forever right so as time goes by i will bring in more content valuable content valuable that has a meaning that has a purpose if it doesn't have a meaning if it doesn't have a purpose why am i going to waste my time because remember i work full time my youtube is a hobby okay it's a hobby uh it's a hobby it's a passion just like i have passion for it just like i have passion for visual arts last 40 years since i graduated high school right and uh I enjoy what I do. I like what I do. My way is very simple. No bells and whistles. I'm not here to show off to anybody. I'm enjoying my time talking to people, sharing the knowledge, a pathway. Okay, a pathway to people. Young folks, let it resonate. No reason to show off, right? Uh, it's not going to be overnight. It's going to be hard work. You got to burn the midnight oil what is the meaning of burning midnight oil you got to stay up late and study right some certification takes six months and a year especially if you move uh beyond security plus beyond caps ccisp and other uh professional certifications they take six months they take a year depending on if you're working full-time and you have a family and you you know you got to take care of your kids you got to do the chores you know my kids are all grown thank god god bless you know but still i got to pay my bills and i got to do the chores you know i got to throw the trash i got to take care of the front lawn the back lawn change the filters make sure the cars are running make sure Health is good, mind is good, the soul is good, right? Work-life balance, right? Work-life balance. But remember what I said, share, learn, teach, and grow. Share, learn, teach, and grow. Share, learn, teach, and grow. Share, learn, teach, and grow, right? You know, the beautiful thing about this is uh, on my channel, God bless, I don't have to take an approval from a uh, uh, a higher manager or a director or CEO, CTIO, CIO, and, or, or Congress or Senate. No, no, no. Uh, uh, as long as my content is pure, clean, and I think it's right, I'm going to deliver it. Now, if you learn from it, great. If you don't want to learn from it, great. Doesn't bother me. I'm having fun. All right, you like, you subscribe, you like, you subscribe. As always, I'm grateful to Divine Spirit, grateful to God, grateful to galaxies, the cosmos, the planet Earth, and all my viewers, all my watchers, and all my subscribers. Thank you very much, and have a great day. God bless you all. Bye.